columns on the periodic table are called groups or chemical families, and the elements within a column have similar chemical and physical properties. In this video, we're going to look at the group called the alkali metals, and the alkali metals are right here in group one. Hydrogen is not a part of the alkali metals, and so this group starts with lithium. Let's take a look at the first three alkali metals, lithium, sodium, and potassium. So here I have some samples of each one of these metals, and let's take a look at their physical properties. We can see that they're all solid at room temperature, and I have a small sample of each one here so we can see that. Now they look like they're different colors, but one thing about these alkali metals is that they're extremely soft, and so I can actually cut into them with a knife. Here I'm cutting into lithium, and when I look inside, I can see that lithium is quite shiny inside uh, once we get rid of all that oxidation there. Let's do the same thing with sodium here. Now lithium was easy to cut through, but it was still um, a little bit difficult. Sodium, on the other hand, very, very easily cuts. And if we look inside sodium, we can see that it's also pretty shiny inside of there. Now since sodium was a little bit softer than lithium, I'm going to expect a trend here to show that potassium is even softer than those two. And as I cut through potassium, it's very, very easy to cut through. And if I look inside, once again, we have that same shiny color. And so the physical properties of these three elements are similar. Now, if we continue down the periodic table to the next one, it would be rubidium. And rubidium, based on this trend, we would expect rubidium to be even softer. Now, as I said before, elements within the same column have similar physical and chemical properties. One thing I mentioned about the alkali metals is that they're extremely reactive. They're the most reactive of all the metals. If you can notice, each of these elements look like they're in water, and actually they're in some mineral oil. And mineral oil is actually protecting them from the water vapor that's in the air. These elements are really, really reactive to water. And I have some beakers here of water, and we'll take a look at their reactivity. Let's go ahead and start with lithium. We'll drop lithium into this beaker of water and just see what happens. We'll make some observations here on its reactivity. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of bubbling and we have what looks like some smoke being produced. This is actually water vapor. This reaction is quite hot. And so the water is actually starting to boil that's surrounding these, uh, this piece of lithium. If I touch the beaker, I can even feel that the water is getting a little bit warm as this continues to react. Now all that bubbling is producing hydrogen gas. The heat is not quite enough to ignite that hydrogen gas, and so we just continue to keep producing it. Okay, let's take a look at the next one here. Let's take a look at sodium. So we'll drop a piece of sodium in the water and make some observations and kind of compare the reactivity to lithium. As you can see, it's quite a bit more reactive. We're producing a lot more water vapor, there's a lot more bubbling, and a lot more heat is being produced. Now once again, I can feel that the water inside the beaker is getting quite warm as this continues to react. Still not quite enough heat though to actually ignite the hydrogen gas that's being produced in this reaction. Okay, let's take a look at the last one here, potassium. Now, as we can see from this trend, lithium, uh, comparing lithium to sodium, sodium is a little bit more reactive than lithium. So if that trend continues, we should expect potassium to be even more reactive. Let's see if at least we can get enough heat to ignite that hydrogen gas. And there we can see definitely a lot more reactive here with potassium, much quicker reaction, a lot more heat, and even enough to ignite that hydrogen gas. And those are the chemical properties of the alkali metals.